Welcome to Sunday Fun Day on the Acrylic Crazy Train. I'm Charm Bean, better known as Charmaine, and I'm with Alchemy Attitude Artistry. I have the honor and the pleasure of being here tonight. I am just one of two wand wizards. The other is Defer Williams, better known as Devil Bean. And we are kicking butt and giving names. So if you haven't received your jelly bean name and you want one, you make sure you reach out to us. My session tonight is dedicated to all of you jelly beans out there who make this a safe, wonderful, happy place to share our art and to share a laugh. I also wanna take a moment to say thank you to our admins who keep this crazy train rolling down the tracks. First up, Bridget Martella, better known as Fluffy Bean. And then we have Christy Connolly, who is, of course, the Mushy Bean. And her sidekick, Adora Muppet. So if you weren't here for last week's session, you missed some hilarity. And I know that some of you out there are going to be doing a drinking game. And so when I say Cy Frost, better known as the conductor, he would say to me, don't waffle, waffle, waffle. And I know that means... All of you are now having a good stiff drink. And then we have Darren Nixon, better known as the Wombat from Australia. Darren's always great to have around. And then we have Britta Clayton, who is sassy. And I appreciate that about her. The sassier she is, the more I like her. And then we have Sheldon Briscoe, better known as Rowdy Bean. Now, Rowdy Bean would like me to change his name to Randy. And it's not going to happen because he's rowdy enough. And then we have Lance Travis. He's up after me. So I hope you'll stick around and watch Pouring with Lance. And he's known as a 3B Bean. I'll let him explain why. So before too long, I'm going to get you down to the canvas. And I'm going to take my wand. And with the wave of my wand, I'm going to go and change my clothes. Get up out of this get up and get into something a little bit more appropriate for painting on my canvas. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, jelly beans. <laughs> we are back. I said I was dedicating this to all the jelly beans, named and unnamed. So if you don't have a name, Get on the jelly bean train. Today's lineup is all piggies. Mermaid, emerald, tail feather, and lagoon, and parakeet, and asparagus, and ore, and uh, that submarine, and some groovy, and... I'm going to try and do my cell activator, which is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. And I think I have a little teeny tiny bit of the Nicolazel Quinacridone at Nicolazel Gold in cell activators as well. And they are um, done at a uh, four to one ratio for parts Australian flow troll, one part of the lamp black, or then quinacridone nickel azel gold. And I am taking a page from our illustrious wombat and more paints better, right? So that's what I'm going to do today for you. And you'll see that my table is very dirty. This is take number three, because the first two, um, as is always the case with experimenting, my paints, um, the cells were not holding. So first one up is my, um, Is, I think this is tail feather. So I'll get my tail feather down into the center. There we go. 
have? And then we have, I believe this is Lakeside. I'm just layering my paints and I'm going to blow out my bloom with my blow dryer. My blow dryer is a Berta. It is a travel size and it is a thousand watts. And I like it because it's not so strong that my paints end up everywhere, but not so weak that I can't blow out my paints. And this one is the, let me tell you what color that blue is. That is Lagoon. Yeah, Lagoon. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is break it up a little bit and put in some of my submarine into there. Ooh, that was really thick. That's not good. So I think I have something in there. Nope, apparently not. Okay. And really, because I'm blowing this out and then I'm going to spin it, it um, really, I'm, I'm not taking any care to do this at all. And even with no care, it'll still look pretty. This is the parakeet going down next. There we go. And I've probably put on way too much paint, but again, I'm used to using a much larger canvas. And I'm probably getting way carried away. That was the asparagus. Then I'm going to put down my groovy. And the last one that I'm going to put down is my ore. Oh, there we go. Get some of that around the edge. And then ore. My ore goes down next. And I want some of that around the edge as well. Okay. We'll see how these colors turn out. Okay, next up is our lamp black in the center. Good healthy dollop of that. Not so much that it takes over though, but I do want some nice cells in there. And then the very last one that I'm gonna put as if it's the center of my bloom, I'm going to put down that nickel azel gold and see how that turns out. Okay, I'm going to put on my blow dryer and I'm going to put it on high on my small Berta blow dryer and it has a cool shot button so I want to make sure that I depress that and I usually blow out upside down only because that's the easiest way to hold down. So I apologize for the noise, but let's blow this out. Okay, so now that we've got that, we want the that cell activator to pool a little bit. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my straw and just blow gently and pull back up. Okay, and now what I will do is I will take a toothpick and just give it some definition. So where I've got some pooling, I'm just going to drag it just into, but not down too deep, because if I go down too deep, the canvas, the tooth of the canvas will grab the toothpick and actually, um, I will make really jaggedy lines and I don't want that. And another one over here, perhaps. There we go. And I can pull inward. I'm just taking my toothpick and making sure that I wipe it clean after I put it into the paint so that I don't drag any of the other colors unwanted into my design. There we go. Just give it some definition for those petals. And you get the point. I can drag it down into the center to make it look like a more defined petal. Absolutely, and I'm just taking my toothpick and dragging it along and giving it some definition. And I can play with that all day long or until the paint dries. How's that? There we go. Just bringing it up off the sides. Okay. And... There we go. And that is my bloom. Done like dinner. Had a little bit of fun. I can bring this down so it looks like I'm defining my petal a little more. There we go. And that one I can do as well. There we go. Perfect. And just to get some excess paint off, I can give it a bit of a spin. Not too hard, not too fast. And that's a spun out bloom. That quick, that easy. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Let's not forget that we're going to watch uh, Lance, Al Arms uh, Lance, Al Lar Lance Armstrong <laughs> or Lance Travis. <laughs> B3 Bean. For some of you that don't know his bean name, he will be up next in our roster today. And I thank you, every one of you, Jelly Beans, that joined me here today. I think that is uh, Giggle Bean. I think that is Hilarity Bean. I think that is um, Sugar Bean. We've got Sassy Bean. Oh, Sassy's green for sure. And then we've got the multicolored ones. Um, I think that might be the conductor. Anyway, see you over there, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.